Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. In this video, we're gonna talk about Nicki Minaj and her husband being sued and accused of blowing off a seven hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollar lawsuit over an alleged battery inside the rapper's dress room. So let's get into this video. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Now, according to reports, Nicki Minaj stands accused her of blowing off a lawsuit over an alleged battery by her husband, Kenneth Petty, against a security guard Radar Online has learned. According to court documents obtained by Radar Online, the man suing the couple has asked the judge to grant him the suit by default. Isn't that crazy? As though Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty has no rights whatsoever. But let's talk about what is being reported. Now, it says that back in 2022, Thomas Wyden Miller brought a lawsuit for battery intentional infliction of emotional distress and negligence. Wyden Mueller worked as the head of security for a company that provided security for Nicki Minaj World Tour concert that took place on March 22, 2019 in Frankfurt, Germany. But it gets interesting. Listen to why this man is suing. Now, he's saying that he was assigned to provide security for the show, which took, which took place at a venue named Fischel. The security guard said that Petty was present at the concert. The suit claimed near the end of the concert, a concert goer breached security barricade dividing the audience from the stage and was able to make his way on stage. But guys, it gets even more interesting. Now, so this man made his way on stage while Nicki Minaj was performing right so you're wondering why is this security suite let's get into that so why didn't Mueller said that um the fan did not cause any harm to the defendant and had simply danced on stage to the music he did not attempt to and did not actually make any physical contact with Minaj while on stage. The concert goer was apprehended by Minaj personal personal security team under 10 seconds after obtaining access to the stage and was escorted off stage seconds later. He was on stage for approximately 15 seconds in total. So Nikki Minaj um personal personal security personnel had to escort this fan off stage right and the security team that she hired from germany what did they do they were so slow it was as though they weren't there no listen up the guard said minaj and her team confronted the security team about the fan after the show why did miller said that he joined the conversation to see if he could assist. Now, listen, this is just so crazy. People believe that they can just use celebrities as a um, paycheck. No work, you know, this is a celebrity. We're going to sue and we're going to get some money because that's the attitude that this gentleman is given. Now, he said that that's a security that is suing. He said that. Minaj, which is Nikki, made a female security cry after calling her a effing B-I-T-C-H. He said despite the guard apologizing, Minaj decided to video record the woman and demanded she tell Minaj fans via the recording that the security guard failed to do her job and put Minaj in danger. So Mr. Wyden Mueller said that he stepped in around this point. He objected to her posting the video she filmed on social media. No, <laughs> this man is very crazy because let's pause a bit, right, and talk about this. So, Nicki Minaj went to Germany on a tour. 
Luckily, she brought her security team from the U.S. The security team that she hired for the concert, they were slow. They didn't do anything. Her personal security team, who were, you know, backstage, they had to rush out, rush out on stage to accost this fan. This security team that she hired, some of them were right in front of the stage where the fan had to pass. Now, this gentleman that is suing is claiming that the fan did not cause any harm to Nikki, right? That's fine. Good. But at the same time, have you guys seen what happened to Dave Chappelle? What if this fan had done something to Nikki? Are you going to use the excuse that he didn't cause any harm or anything? We know that. Fans are going to go on stage. But in this day and age, with everything that is going on at concerts, you cannot take any chances. And the security guard clearly had failed to do their job, right? So this should be Nicki Minaj who is suing this security team. But instead, a security from this security team that she hired that had failed to do their job is suing her. So this security is claiming that um, he escorted the female security guard away from the situation. Moments later, he claimed Minaj told Petty about the situation. The guard said he had a conversation with Petty where Minaj partner ended up apologizing. So that's good because you know, I believe that Nikki, we know that Nikki has a little sass. And with what happened on stage, she can definitely have some fear and things could have possibly escalated. And she might have been definitely rude and abrasive to that female security guard. Right. So with her husband apologizing, I think that is really good right there. Now, this man is saying that later he said Minaj demanded her to come to her dressing room. Inside the dressing room, he claimed Minaj started yelling at him. As he stood there, he claimed Petty punched him in the side of his face. Ooh, that's brutal. But let's continue, right? Now, Wyden Muller was instantly in extreme pain and was momentarily disoriented and had to step aside around the corner to collect himself. After two or three minutes and on the, the belief that his jaw was broken, Wyden Muller turned the corner again, returning to, the, returning to the location where Petty hit him outside Minaj's dressing room and found that all four individuals had fled. Okay, <laughs> let's continue because this is really interesting but it's also given the sense that something else happened and you know he's not talking about it we know that kenneth petty is very protective of Nicki minaj if we're gonna be honest and i believe that there might have been some sensitivity there now it says why did Mola said he called the police and was taken to the hospital. He claimed he sustained a broken jaw as a result of Petty's attack. He said that he was unable to eat, to eat solid food for some time and had to undergo seven additional surgeries. Wyden Muller filed the battery lawsuit accusing Minaj of directing her husband to attack him. But in the initial statement, he did not suggest that Nicki Minaj directed her husband to attack him. So it's given the sense that he's just throwing that in there so that the lawsuit looks more, you know, feasible. He is ensuring that he collects some money. So last year, Wyden Miller asked the court to allow him to serve Minaj and Petty via an via an alternative method. He hired a process server who made various unsuccessful attempts to track down the rapper. Now guys, let's pause for a bit because it's given the sense that this claim is not factual because this is my reason. If you had to undergo several surgeries to fix that broken jawbone, based on research, once you have a joke, broken jawbone, 
no matter what surgery you do, you're going to still have pain. You're going to still have some side effects, discomfort eating, depending on what you're eating. Why is the lawsuit only for $757,000? The lawsuit should be for at least $3 million because you're going to need some extensive aftercare, maybe some therapy, some additional treatment, some additional doctor's visit, and the list goes on. So it's given the sense that there's something missing here. But let's continue. So they're saying that the judge signed off on the request and Weidenmuller placed a notice in the local paper notifying Minaj and Petty of the lawsuit. Now the security guard has demanded that the court grant him a default against Minaj and Petty. But guess what? The court cannot do that, sir, because if the court does that, Without a video, right? If there was a video footage displaying everything that happened, and in that moment, it clearly showed that you weren't abrasive to Petty, but Petty went ahead and hit you in the face, your jawbone was broken, then the judge could have done so. But everyone is entitled to their legal rights and legal representation. Nicki Minaj has to well, Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty has to hire a lawyer and that lawyer has to argue the case on their behalf. Also, if you were in hospital and if you had done that multiple surgeries, what is $753,000 going to do for you with a broken jawbone? right so it's either this man is extremely fair or he's looking for a quick payday right now the security guard has, has demanded that the court grant him a default against minaj and petty the judge signed off on the default against minaj but has yet to grant once one against petty now widen muller will move for a default judgment in the amount of seven and seven hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars now i don't understand why the judge has signed off on that lawsuit because something is not right something is not adding up but i promise you guys to follow this case or on this report, and once there's a update available, I'm gonna come back and provide you guys with an update. Well, this is really interesting. It seems as though everywhere Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty goes, you know, some problem tend to follow. And I believe that they need to, you know, realize what is happening because we don't have any evidence in this case. So it could be that, you know, there's something more to it. And I'm getting the sense that there's a gap here. So Nicki Minaj needs to, you know, be careful. Kenneth Petty needs to stay out of trouble because already I understand with him wanting to protect his wife. But also at the same time, he already has a bad rap publicly. And it's definitely not a good look for him. But... Um, I'm not seeing anything that, um, you know, Nicki Minaj has made a payment or any discussion of a payment. We know that Nicki Minaj also doesn't pay out money like that. So I believe that she's going to hire a lawyer to argue this case for her. She's not going to just pay this money without some, without a fight back. That's what I believe. But guys, I want to hear from you because all of this is really interesting. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you guys next time. Bye guys!